What is going on everyone? So here's another update video to my coding journey. So in case this is your first time on my channel, I'm essentially documenting myself learning how to code and I'm currently focusing on JavaScript right now. So if you do want to follow me along this journey, then go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. All right, so update, what's, what I've been up to, I think it's like two weeks since I've uh, made a video and I've been trying to focus learning code and I've been, I've gone through a few courses on JavaScript at the moment, but the one I did take, it was a little outdated and there's just certain concepts that were okay, but some of the stuff was, I was thinking in my head, I'm like, why am I learning this? It's good, I guess, if you're maybe back end, but um, I'm trying to learn front end and I actually want to see like visuals and whatnot. So this course was, is very, I would say interesting, but it was extremely challenging to the point where I'm like, oh, I can't even, I can't even concentrate. So uh, I had to switch it up today. I went back to another course that I'll, I'll show you this one that I'm gonna go through for the next couple of days and just go quickly because this one's much more fun. It still has that sort of, um, like give me style teaching to it, but it's, it's a little more advanced in terms of uh, just certain concepts, but there's still, it's very similar to most Udemy courses out there, but basically it's this guy right here. Mosh's YouTube channel, I think it's Programming with Mosh right here. It's pretty, pretty big channel, like 1 million plus subs. And I'm sure there's probably like a million um, programming courses out there. I, I bought quite a few already. But um, his, I just wanted to check it out because he does like a subscription and whatnot and um, free promo to him. I mean, he has a million subs, so. <laughs> Not really here, he has his pre promo, but uh, basically, this is like the intro part. I've just got through it uh, like halfway of this, and he has like a bunch of courses on top of his thing, but that's essentially what I'm going through right now. Going back to the previous one I was learning, I realized that the first intro parts were pretty cool, they're pretty interesting, but the some of the topics were just it was it was terrible, like uh, not terrible in the sense that it was bad for learning, but it was terrible in the sense of that it was extremely dull and very hard to stay motivated to keep learning so it's essentially reading code so reading actual people's libraries and softwares and since i'm just getting started you know only been a couple of weeks maybe about like a month or so give or take in a javascript some of the stuff i just i just couldn't comprehend and it's, I, I realized one thing when i'm learning code is that if it's extremely difficult like it's i have no idea what's going on i'm just like listening in my focus just goes out the window. So I noticed that I track my daily time I spend coding. And on certain days, obviously, it's not as high because, uh, you know, doing other stuff and whatnot. But also, I am in quarantine. So, like, at this time of this filming of this video, I have no options to just go out and, you know, go to the coffee shop or to relax out. I don't know. Literally, there's nowhere I can go besides the grocery store <laughs> or just, you know, fast food or drive through But I don't even eat that stuff right now. So... Trying to learn something very, very difficult, I would say, while being isolated. It's almost like being in a, um, it's like a modern day prison, I guess you could say. Makes it really tough mentally to stay focused if the stuff you're focusing on is extremely difficult to comprehend and understand. So that's why I found something I'm going to test out right now. I'm sure pe obviously everyone has gone through this if you've done anything challenging as far as learning code. So I'm pretty sure people who are also learning they probably hit that point where they're like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. This is too much for me. I just want to take a break. So I've been trying to figure out how to pace myself and mainly balance it out to where I don't go too hard to where I just go, just disappear off of my coding routine. Because I've seen, I've heard stories where people, you know, they go hard like 10 hours a day and then they just can't look at it for like a month or something crazy. But um, so far I managed to code at least a couple hours every day. Never, I haven't missed any days of just not doing anything. But some days I just, Things just go through my brain, goes one out, one ear out the other, and I just completely forgot it. So uh, now I'm trying to balance it where I do something pretty difficult, and then I'll go back to some course that's much more fun, entertaining, and then I'm going to start getting into more of the uh, project-based learning soon. There's some things on JavaScript that I just haven't gotten to, because JavaScript, the initial beginner courses, if you watch them, or even free tutorials on YouTube, it makes you think like you know what you're doing, where it's like just simple variables and like strings, numbers, booleans and stuff like that. But then if you watch more like in-depth detail courses, it's the simplest thing. They make it so much more complicated. So that's why I'm trying to get really good at that first before I move on to any other language or whatever's out there like React, Node, any of that stuff. I want to get pretty solid understanding of JavaScript for now. And then I'll move on to that for um, in the future. Because I see a lot of people... Uh, they have like these buzzwords where they got like they learn how to program in three months or whatnot and 
they got like they ended up working and whatnot. But at the end of the day, there's people that they I mean getting work obviously that's cool, but like learning actual programming and what they actually know and how to recode and understanding is I I at least think it'll take much longer than three months to fully grasp that. So I guess depending on their background, they're obviously they might know certain things prior. That's different for every person. But for me, I, I noticed that um, I've been trying to think, think, uh, take things fairly quickly. I've been trying to rush it, which I did initially. HTML and CSS, I rushed that junk. I watched courses like you know in a day go through super fast and build it. But then for JavaScript, it's completely different. So I want to take it a little slower. That way, one, I don't burn out. Two, I actually understand like not just like the definitions and syntax, but like why they do this certain thing. And then also I wanna to get to the point where I can just like read code, where I don't really have to know everything that's going on, but I can actually decipher and figure it out because I can understand and see like what's going on actually there. But uh, that's a quick update, what I've been up to. So definitely let me know what you've been doing, spending your quarantine, whether you're learning code or you're just you know, hanging out, doing whatever. And any resources that you find that are pretty helpful at least for JavaScript, comment down, uh, uh, yeah, comment down down below. Let um, other people know about that. I'll check them out too. I mean, there's not really too many um, things I can find out there. But once I get, get I'd say more, I'd say once I get more knowledge of JavaScript to where I feel like, okay, this information is really good, then I'll start sharing that because I don't want to obviously share stuff that might be bad for other people. But I'm just gonna show you right now at least this one because this guy's pretty popular, so you can check out his free stuff on his YouTube channel before you decide to like get into his courses and whatnot. But um, this one's pretty interesting. The only thing I would say with this course particular, since I'm showing you guys this one, is that the exercise problems are a little more advanced than the um, stuff he teaches prior. So it's like a loop or a gap where, like he'll teach you like one plus one is equal to two, but then all of a sudden he'll make you answer a multiplication problem. That's like the math comparison. I'm trying to compare like the basic, but you see what I'm saying? like. He'll teach you something super basic and then expect you to do something that's intermediate or advanced without previously being taught this. So you have to obviously like look up stuff on the docs, research it yourself. But um, it's still a fun way, I'd say. That's a better way to um, learn it out and research for yourself. But aside from that, I mean, nothing else going on. I'll, if you want me to make some more like HTML, CSS tutorial, I'll try to. But again, it, those take quite a bit to just come up with an idea and also just like Filming it and everything takes quite a bit. So if I do have time, maybe we'll see. But um, aside from that, let me know what you've been up to. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.